Protein shakes. We're always wondering when should we have our protein shakes? Because a lot of us understand now that protein is the key macro. So macros are carbs, proteins, and fats that are required in order for us to feel fuller longer, to help us recover faster, and to help us build new muscle. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you the five times, the five best times that you should be consuming protein powder. The first time that you could potentially take your protein is in a pre-workout. Now, if you're working out first thing in the morning, unless you wake up and you're starving and you have enough time in between waking up, having this protein shake, and going to the gym, then you can take your protein shake then, but I recommend that you don't work out within two hours of eating anything. And the reason being is that if you're waking up first thing in the morning, you're going for a workout, we did that video on intermittent fasting, and if you haven't watched it yet, it's a couple videos ago, go in there and I'll tell you why it's more important to be in a fasted state so that you can burn calories from fat versus having a protein shake prior to your workouts. Now, if you're working out first thing in the morning, don't eat the protein shakes. But if you're working out in the afternoon or the evening, then have your protein shake about two hours prior to your workout because you're preloading your muscles with the amino acids that are required in order for your muscles to repair and recover and grow from the workout that you are doing. The second is a post-workout. Again, if you're working out first thing in the morning, then I don't recommend to have any types of food, doesn't matter if it's protein shake, within two hours of your workout. The reason being is that when you're done working out, your metabolism is still revved and your body is burning calories to stimulate that recovery process. And as such, we would ideally like these calories to be coming from your body fat. So if you take protein in, then your ability to use the calories from fat is almost completely wiped out and your body starts to use the calories from the protein. Now, if you can wait those two hours post-workout as your first thing that you can consume into your body is one of the best times to have your protein powder because that's when your body is starving for nutrients and calories. And as such, if you can take in that nice clean protein shake after you're done working out, then your body's gonna shuttle those to the muscles to almost instantly spark that recovery process. Now, the third best time to take your protein shake is throughout the day. And if you've ever done a belly burn and you know what macros are and you have a target that you have to hit every single day, then I would suggest to have them sporadically throughout the day. So let's say you work out first thing in the morning, then I would suggest to have a protein shake two hours later, have another protein shake two hours later, and have another protein shake two hours later. And that's already gonna give you 90 grams of protein, which for most of you, that would be at least 50% of your protein goal that you have to hit throughout the day. It's just an easy, clean source that is super fast that you can make on the go. Right, like I'm always on the go, but I can put powders in a little Tupperware or in a bag, and as long as I have access to water, I can just put that into my protein shake cupper, and boom, there's 30 grams of protein while I'm driving. The fourth best time to have your protein shake is right before bed, and the reason why is that it, while you're sleeping, like we talked about in a few videos before, your body goes into that deep sleep cycle. We have to understand that even as we're sleeping, our body still burns calories and our body is really focusing on that recovery process. So if we can provide the key calories that are required to stimulate this recovery process from the protein shakes, then we've got a winning formula. And the last but not least, the best time is any time because a lot of us are super busy as it is and as such, we have to hit our macros, we have to hit our calories and we want protein to be our primary fuel source because carbs are too easy. It's too easy to go grab a carb bar, right? Like these granola bars are super easy to grab. You can eat 1,000 calories of carbs like that. So the protein shakes are a convenient, super easy way to make sure that we're consuming enough protein and that we're not overeating on carbohydrates and we're focusing on that building the muscle, focusing on that recovery, keeping our body satiated because protein burns longer, so it takes longer to digest, so it's gonna keep you fuller and longer. So there we have it, guys. The five best times a day that you should be having your protein shakes would be pre-workout, depending on when you work out, post-workout, again, depending on when you work out, throughout the days to make sure that you're hitting your macros, one before bed, or if all else fails, just have it handy and have it anytime that you can. So in the comment section, guys, 
If you want to post anything in there, I always engage with all of the viewers and all the comments. So if you have questions or if you have a video that you'd like to see me do in the future, put it in the com comment section. I monitor this channel every single day. And so I want to give out videos that are most important and beneficial to you.